dangers that are facing Oakland bicyclists and pedestrians, as well as introducing some legislation. That's a first step in addressing some of these hazards. Tonight at our Public Safety Committee meeting at 6 o'clock, the committee will be considering an anti-endangerment of vulnerable roadway users ordinance. And this will provide for the first time a civil remedy for bicyclists and pedestrians when they are intentionally harmed by motorists. Now we all know that Oakland is an amazing place to bike and to walk, and we want to keep it that way. Uh, but this study shows that we still have a lot of work to do to ensure better safety for our bicyclists, our pedestrians, and our other vulnerable users of our roadways. We all know that Oakland believes in a complete streets philosophy, that streets are meant to be shared by many users. And this study demonstrates that there are still significant injuries and even deaths happening on Oakland's streets. We know that the vast majority of drivers definitely play it safe, but this law is there to remind all of us to be more cautious when we are approaching bicyclists. This September, a new state law is gonna go into an effect that requires that as drivers, we leave a three foot clearance for bicyclists when we pass them. We brought a nice visual representation of what that looks like on this bike. And this law is gonna complement new laws like that to ensure that everyone can use Oakland's roadways safely. Now, this study that I've just passed out highlights injuries, significant injuries, and even fatalities that have happened on Oakland streets over the years. For example, 184 pedestrians and bicyclists have been killed due to car collisions between the years of 1992 and 2011. 9,072 bikers and pedestrians have been injured in such collisions during these years. This is too much harm for our city to be bearing. We have got to do more to make our streets safe. This study also documents several instances of harassment, and this is the harm that the new law aims to prevent. The intentional breaking in front of a bicyclist throwing things at them, verbal harassment is not acceptable on Oakland streets and significantly endangers these vulnerable roadway users. The new ordinance will create a legal prohibition against these specific activities in which a motorist attempts to assault or injure a bicyclist or pedestrian, and the new law will, the new law will allow victims to seek civil remedies of up to $1,000 as well as reasonable attorney fees and litigation fees for each incident. Now this study shows that there is a lot more work to be done. The proposal of the legislation today is just a first step. I am very committed to continue to working with other great advocates in our community like Walk Oakland Bike Oakland who's here today, the East Bay Bicycle Coalition, and our fabulous staff from the city of Oakland who are leaders in bicycle and pedestrian work to do more to make our streets safe. With that, I do want to introduce Chris Kidd, who is here with Walk Oakland Bike Oakland, best known as WOBO, to talk a little bit more about the legislation and the 